Uh, behind us is the new College of Nursing and Healthcare Innovation for Arizona State University. Um, this is a five-story, 80, 82,000 square foot building, uh, a design build project between DPR and Smith Group and will open in the fall of 2009 for classes. Um, this project is of course an infill project and represents um, the second building of a four building campus and the, the ASU campus is in its infancy and this project really will become uh, the gateway to Phoenix's downtown uh, campus. So the floor plan diagram is essentially a rectangle. Maximize daylighting capacity from the north and the south. So here again the north facade is fully glazed allowing full penetration into that office space on the upper floor. The south facade, which you can see later, is actually heavy louvered with horizontal louvers and light shells that will bounce that light deep into the floor plate. The other significant piece here is the full glazing at the street level, allowing transparency, visibility into the building, um, a way for the pedestrian to actually understand what's going on in the building. Again, a kind of a downtown building, but also a campus building. So what most people don't know about copper is that it's anywhere from 90 to 100% recycled content. Um, interestingly enough, it's estimated that over 80% of the copper um, that has ever been mined in the United States has been recycled and reused. Because the product is so highly durable and almost indestructible, um, copper that was used for copper wiring 100 years ago is now um, on the skins of buildings. I'm Peter Berg and this is Brad Marshall over with DPR Construction. One of the things that we've done to successfully achieve a 78% waste diversion rate is we're clearly, clearly identifying what goes in each container. And as you can see, it's in Spanish and English and it's graphically displayed on what needs to go into what container. So it really helps with the amount of construction workers that are on this site to get the right things in the right bins. 